labor problems for Honda in China. In fact, Honda is raising wages at a factory in China after that strike halted production. And Mike joins us with more from Tokyo. And how big of an increase are we talking about here, Mike? Honda is offering 24%. This is to workers at a car parts factory at Foshan in the southern Chinese province of Guangdong. That would raise their monthly salary to $280. Workers at the plant going on strike May 17th after Honda announced it wanted to raise production in China by 28%. Honda says that most workers have accepted this offer and it's still talking with a couple who aren't happy with the new deal. Our salary is very low. Actually, it's 800 yuan a month. No insurance, we have nothing. Official staffers have 1,200 yuan a month. It's 1,500 yuan, including insurance. We need to pay for housing and food. Production of manual transmissions at the plant resumed on Monday. A part shortage, though, forcing Honda to suspend production at all four of its car factories run as ventures in China. They won't open until tomorrow at the earliest. And analysts say that's going to cost Honda as many as 3,000 vehicles a day in lost production. It's going to have to add shifts to make up that shortfall. Nearly a fifth of Honda's global sales are in China. Demand is growing. Honda wanting to increase capacity to 830,000 vehicles a year by mid 2012, Susan. Yeah, and this was a strike that was marked by clashes. In fact, we have reports this morning in the newspapers, Mike, seeing that workers clash with the government backed union leaders here. Yeah, that's right. That's in the South China Morning Post saying that, uh, that uh, the union leaders turned up at the plant and they wanted the workers to sign documents and promise to end the strike. Uh, when they didn't, there were, there were scuffles. One woman knocked to the ground. Her face was scratched. And, and some of the, the workers at the plant were saying, why do we play, pay our union fees to you? Because you're representing the Japanese and Honda. You're not representing our interests. There's a lot of questions about whether these government-backed unions, because you can't have independent trade unions, uh, in China were really representing the interests of the workers at Foshan. Yeah, really in the best interest of the workers as they should be. Okay, Mike, thank you for that. Mike Fern with a look at Honda having to raise wages at one of its uh, shops as factories in southern China.